Hello everyone, this is Emp giving you the next Node.js tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to make an echo server and basically what that is is that it's going to be a server that whatever you give it, it will send right back to you like an echo. Okay, so first I'm going to make my package.json. And you will notice that it looks a lot like the other one for our simple server. I'm going to call it echo server instead, but the rest of it is pretty much the same. Main is still server.js. And our scripts are even the same start is still going to run server and the client because once again we have a client server pair so we don't need to change anything about how we run it we just need to change what the server and client actually do and node client.js and then client node client.js okay in order to do our server we need to install express again save express but we're also going to need to install something called body parser this used to be a part of express that was contained within it but now it's something separate that we need and this is basically what it's going to parse the information we get from the requests from the server for the server so npm install save body parser okay now we can see we have our dependencies and so i'm going to make the server server.js okay var express equals require express this is the part this is the same as before but now we need our body parser body parser and var server equals express now we're going to say server.use. So we're saying use this parser. So we're going to say use body parser.url encoded extend it equals false. And then we're going to say server.use. Oops, not us, use body parser dot json and so these were handled before you for you in earlier parts of express but now you have to do it yourself because it allows you to create your own parsers and other middleware instead if you don't want to use that so it's allowing you more freedom but that's a little bit more advanced so now that we've got our server set up to do our parsing we can do, set this up. I'm going to do post instead of get. Post is another HTTP uh, method. It's still going to go to the original path. No special pathing going on here. Function request response. I'm going to set, do a console log again. I got plus I'm going to say rec request dot body, which is the main body that's given to us, dot message. And I'm using message, but you can use whatever you want for the parameters. Uh, you just have to have it agreed upon between the server and the client ahead of time. Otherwise, if I have the client send me something that doesn't include something called message, then I'll get an undefined here, and that won't be nice. So then I'm going to send it right back, res.send, 
request.body.message. And then I'm going to say server.listen. This is the same as before. I'm going to do port 3000 and a function that tells us express echo server is listening on port 3000. Okay, so that's it for the server. It's still pretty simple. A little bit more complicated, but we're it's it's totally doable. The client still requires request. So let's install it. npm install save request. Okay, there we go. So now we're going to say var request equals require request. Oops. And at this point, we're going to make our request to the server. So I'm going to say request dot post because we're using the post method here instead of the get. If we do the get method, we won't get any reply back because we not, haven't set the server up to do that. So we're going to request.post. And for post, you need some more information than just the URL. So here's the URL, localhost. But then we need the body. Now, normally the body, it wants to be either a string or a buffer or a stream. However, if you put JSON true, then you can put a JSON object in. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to give it body and message is hi there. Then we have our regular callback function, air response body. And if no error, and response.status code equals 200, then console.log the body. Okay, let's see how this works. npm start. So there it is. I got hi there. That's my server. And hi there got echoed over here. Now, if I want to run this again with a different value, I can do oh hi and save it and then just run the client, npm run client. And then I got oh hi. So as you can see, it really is echoing whatever I put out to it. Um, so I can make changes in that. But it seems kind of cumbersome to always have to change the message in the code every single time. To have it hard coded like this is not really a good idea. What we're going to do is we're going to take in command line arguments to get it so that we can post whatever we want to the server. So I'm going to say var arg equals just an empty string for now. And then we're going to do process.argv, which is your argument array, dot slice two. So slice cuts an array, and I'm saying start it from two from the, from the beginning. So I'm cutting off two of them, the first two. And the reason for this is because the first two arguments you're given are node.exe, the program we're running, and the path to the JS file you're running. And those aren't what we want. So I'm going to say for each for the rest of them. Val index array. I'm going to say arg plus equals val plus a space just to keep them separate. And now when I make my post request, instead of oh hi, I'm going to do arg. 
and now we can do whatever we want. So let's try it. Node client.js Haya. And then we got Haya here and we got Haya back here. Now you can do this with NPM as well. You just have to do a little bit extra. So we can say NPM run client and then you have to do dash dash and then your arguments. Hey, yeah. And there we go. So that is how you make yourself an echo server and client. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.